Well, right there, Elwell, four and a half pounds. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy ax. Oh, I love these ones. Thank you guys so much from the UK, my buddies from the UK. Okay, friends, so it's it's time. It's time Lovejoy watches this happen, friends. We're in. I've got the custom axe here. I've got the custom wedge. We're gonna do it. We're going for it. You can't turn back. There's a time where you just you just can't turn back. You just gotta go. You got to go. We're doing it. Let's do it. I am gonna take this from this side. You know what would be horrible? If I missed and smashed my stitches right out of my hand. That would have been not pretty. Lovejoy, I got to be honest with you, bud. Uh, I honestly don't know what to say about that, except hooray. You know what I mean? Hooray. H-O-O-R-A-Y. Hooray. Hooray, my friend. Yeah, it's a good one, bud. T-Rex here. Tripod. Get you out here. Pretty raw videos. My stuff's pretty raw, friends. I mean, it is. Let's be honest. It's raw. Mr. Lovejoy, you, you know what I mean, friends? Do, do you know what I mean by this here? Like this little dome? Because what it does is this way, it, it pushes out and keeps the ax head on deadly. It allows you to stick, i probably put step wedges in this, not big round ones, I think step or maybe baby rounds. I'm not sure yet. Speaking of baby rounds, George, are you still out and available out there, George? You sent me those wedges from Germany? Would you send me some more and I'll shoot you some PayPal dough? I don't, buddy, if it's, if it's easy for you to do it, send me a bunch of them and send me the bill and I'll just shoot you PayPal. If... Oh yeah, see, here we go. Love Joy's got an ax. He's gonna take it. He gonna run in through the woods of the back 40. These axes are fun. Let's do it. Should we do it? That's pretty, that's pretty risque. Bucking just slipped or just made the ax. Why don't we go? Should we go do it? Come on, let's go. I don't know if I'll throw it. Maybe we'll check something. Let's go outside. Let's go outside and see if it works. We don't have to throw it. Mind you, we probably should, shouldn't we? Kill Joy. Kill Joy. See, I was thinking of Killinger and Love Joy. You get Kill Joy, right? Oh, look at this. Oh my good. Look at that. Look. Oh my, look at how bright that is, friends. So it's nothing new to you guys. Now, hey, if your wood, you guys and gals, is in nice shape, like, like, like really nice shape, don't be afraid to, you done any golfing? You see what I mean? Um, why bend over? There we go, it's done. It's ready for the stove. I didn't have to bend down and stand it up. If you're not comfortable doing that, don't do it. But over years, you will. If you split enough, you'll get comfortable and you'll understand the least amount of times you can handle this stuff, the better. You know what I mean? If you want a bucket. Split it, throw it in the stove. That's what a guy wants to do. You see? Done. Again, six, six or so pieces there, five or six, ready to go. I mean, let's face it, you got to bend down lots anyways to move it. So, anyhow, I know I'm rambling, but that's okay. All right, I think that's enough for now.
See, you're looking, you're looking down at me. Love, Joy. Come have a look, love joy. This is a fun video, eh, friends? I'm enjoying myself. I hope you are. Check it out. So this is the back 40 by place here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta knock this off now. I gotta rest this thing. Look, look at the back forte. Look at the sun goes down back there, friends. Hey, it's nice. So, buddy, here's your cruiser. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I can't get over how, like, this is so bright. Hey, friends, look at it. It's deadly. I can't look at that. Why is that so bright? Is it because of the. That is amazing. Bucket stock 2000. Look at, oh, this is cool. Love, Joy. Solid axe, buddy. It is. Let's go inside. This axe is deadly. Sharp. Did you see it digging in? Back in the bunker. Boom. Friends, listen. Hey, straight up. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for sticking around for my shenanigans. Buck and stock freaking 2018 was beyond words. 19 is going to be crazy. Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching my videos. Oh dear, I appreciate you guys checking all the shenanigans out. We'll catch you on the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Love, Joy. I love you, buddy. Over and out. Friends, be kind to one another. So sometimes, friends, when I'm... Excuse me. Uh, when I'm doing these... Right when I'm doing them, I'm like... I look at the edge and I go... Like, this has got a wicked edge on it. It just does. It's, it, it's sharp. It's super sharp. And it's got one little nick. Right there. Just, just ever so slightly, but... You know, you ask yourself, actually, it's just on one side, so it's a wood splitting axe. You know what I mean? What, what, I just don't, because what I would do if, if it were me, if uh, I wouldn't with this axe right now. It's just not, for a firewood splitting axe, it's sharp as heck. It's not even worth it right now. I would, I would beat it up a bunch more before I'd throw an edge on this. I just would. And I wouldn't be doing nothing too crazy about that right there. Look at it. See that little teeny, teeny thing right there? Brent, I'm going to leave it. I might just... Uh, this is what I do in a case like that, friends. I'll show you. you, you I think you guys know what I do. You, you've, you've seen me do this before. I, I'll just do it. You've seen it. Right? Straight on like this. That's it. It's done. Now I sharpen it.
Yeah, we got a burr. Once you got a burr, friends, you're done. Right? Yeah, you do. Once you get your burr, that means you've got one side completely sharp. I just need to crank that back a little bit right there. Oh, I like that angle better, actually. Oh, yeah. Right? Good. Now, scary. So now look. See? You see what happened? It's gone. And look. You see? It's got the burr back on it. Now I'll just quickly get rid of the burr. sharp firewood edge it's sharp onto the handle okay so here's the here's the deal mr brent old boy um it, it almost i almost think i might octagon this thing it, it's hard to say i might not it, it it's a big head so when you octagon you lose a bit of girth in the handle not a ton but you do a little bit we'll see i may still do it um this is going to be a big split nax, my friend. We're on. We've started. I have to take quite a bit of material off of these uh, HP replacement handles, Arvika replacement handles, because the Arvika eyes are big, and they're a girthy, girthy handle. So there's quite a bit of woodwork involved, um, and just spoke shave and sander, whatever you use. Just, but we're we're looking really good. We're looking really good here now. We've just got it started. You can see there. So it's it's got a nice little start. You can just see it in there. It's probably not even a, well, maybe a quarter in. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, there we. Oh yeah, see now it's starting to go on nicely now. Yeah, see here we go. You see? So we're here. So it's pretty good really. And what do you think of that? Not bad, eh? A little karate in my background. Okay. But it's got a good entry. Yeah, okay. What is my favorite axe? Are you going, Mr. Hammerhead? Mr. Hammerhead. There you are. There we go. A couple of taps. Oh yeah, see? Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Look, friends. See? Sorry, too light for you. There. See? It almost just goes off by hand okay so that's a good sign so what that means is this is very sharp and it is I can feel it it's very very sharp now uh, you can you can chamfer it a bit if you like friends with a file I uh, it depends on if it's out or not I go really easy there um, what a, I'll show you something watch see this it's a freaking file okay watch what happens Flip it over. That's it. Seriously, that's it. I just give it a couple of strokes. Now watch this. Here, let's just quickly get rid of this. That's like 120, so it hardly takes anything. I just wanted to nibble off that little bit of shavings we had there. See that? Now watch this. This will be interesting. I literally just, I chamfered this little edge a little bit on the bottom. This is a gorgeous ax head. Brent, I know you've waited a while, buddy, but I'm telling you something, pal. It's going to be worth it. It's just starting again, but not nearly as bad. You can see it there, but watch this. Watch this side. Uh... Yes, we're past. This is cool, look friends. See the two lines? There's the first one, and there's the second one. And it's not because of the sanding. It's because I chamfered that steel edge. This is cool, very cool. Okay, you wanna come off even on both sides, friends, too, right? You don't just wanna... You 
you don't want to take it all from one side, right? So I like to take a little bit from one side, flip it over, get her tight in the vise. See, this side's hardly got it. You can see it here. I don't know why I like a spoke chain, but I sure do. This is the English Arvika. Uh, Mr. Brent, buddy, hey, you know what? Gosh, it's gonna be a big split next, bud. It's gonna be a dandy. We are coming, we are getting there. This is what I like, friends. Look, right in here, right in. So that when you go down, it stays there. It just, it's, I can tell I'm gonna have to do something here though, because it gets a little wider. You can actually see it by eye, okay? I will do so. You can sand, you can do whatever you like to. I've told you this many times. I think I could actually go right here on my other vice. Remember my other vice? Yes, I have my other vice right here. I will put it in this vice. I will turn camera down so you can see. Grab spoke shave and I go. It's just what I do, friends. It's all that I do. It's not because I want you to do it this way, it's because of what I do. You see? Very simple. Try your different tools. One may work a little better than the other one. Okay not in there yet bit by bit friends I cannot stress it is so good you can see the curve now so I could bash this on and it would not tighten up because it is past curve yes yes or not all right okay so this handle oh they're just look at the freaking grain it runs straight down the handle you can see it there it's just it's super duper there's another word I like, super duper. Check this out. Ox head. Shakalaka. Okay, now, here's the head. Little WD on there now. Okay. And it comes up. I'll show you what it comes up like, friends. Hey, I leave some of the blackness on it. I, I just, I like my stuff to look, oh, this is turning out nice. <laughs> it does, friends. I get excited because I like stuff to look old. I don't like stuff. Here's, here's an example. I love this head. Totally love it, friends. Look it. But here's the, here's the example. Somebody, look it. You can see it from there. Look it. Somebody sandblasted that or, 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 or vinegar bathed it or something. I, I it, it, it's okay. It, it, it's okay. But it, what it's going to look like is a, is an old head refurbished and stuck on a handle. Whereas this style that I do is it basically just looks old. Sorry, friends. Hey, it does. It just looks old. I'm just putting a little WD on there to... Yeah, it, I, I like it. I, I just do. I like it. There it is. It's pretty much done. I got to do a little bit of fixing up on the pole. Uh, uh, Kim and Brent, I'm, I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, this is a wicked head. It, it is a wicked, wicked Elwell head. Look at it, friends. Look at it now. Dented up from the past, but the eye is mint. Look at the eye. There's not a freaking thing wrong with it. It's a wicked, wicked ax head. Deadly. Look at the Elwell right there. Elwell, four and a half pounds. <laughs> 
This is going to be a crazy axe. Oh, I love these ones. Thank you guys so much from the UK, my buddies from the UK. And there's not much to be done. It hasn't been abused. Look at friends. Look at Elwell, four and a half. I love these. It really hasn't been abused, friends. Okay, I got a bit of work to do on it. We'll be back in a minute, Brent. So we are, uh, we're close, mister. We're close. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Each, it's just step by step, you know? Step by step. I maintain curl all the way down. See it there? But look at this now. Like I'm, I'm right there. We're close. So I don't know what else to tell you. Um, it, it, it's just how I do it. Boom. See? As soon as it pops, it pops. It's all good up top because the axe eye gets bigger at the top. So you'll notice when you put your eye in through the bottom, like I'll show you. When you slip your eye in, like, look at this, friends. I'm just in. Look. Look. Wait, see if I can get this mirror. mirror. Okay, look. So, bang. See? So, I'm in there. Watch. Look. Like, I'm, I'm just in. But as you come up, you end up with more space at the top because the eye's bigger at the top, friends. That's why you have to, your wedgemanship and all that. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to think about. And uh, I, I, I want a good product. Simple. I just want a good product. Fitmanship, that's what it's about for me. So when you start getting up close to the shoulder like this, friends, it can be a problem. You have to have the right tool. Uh, so you can you can switch to a sander if you like. I have the proper spoke shaves because I've got to be, see I got a little teeny one here now, you see? So I, I just literally get in with this little guy and I just go for it. I, I don't, I don't need anything else, friends. See? Yeah, like, I, I don't... There we go. So so I can kind of do the whole thing, and I don't like a big shoulder. I, I just don't, because I like a friction fit. You see what I'm doing, friends? So now I'm, I'm right on the shoulder... And we'll see how this goes. My next fit. Okay, let's take a look. Where are we? Here we are. You guys are with me. See how this will, you see? Right? It, what? You thinking it's too loose? No. It has to do that. It has to go on, friends. Cause you need the, the wedge to go in there and do its business. This is deadly. Oh. Oh yeah, see, okay, this, this is what I'm talking about. So we just took, <laughs> you know, I love it. I love it. You know what, friends? I'm thinking I'm really close to almost bashing this thing on now and it'll be set. Close, Mr. Brent and Kim. Look at, we're almost a flat top now. Hey, look at, you see, so there's the bigger space there now. See right there? Because the eye is bigger at the top, friends. That's why that happens. So you got to have your wedge. People wonder why. That's why. Because the eye is bigger at the top, friends. It is. I'll show you in a second. I mean, look at the bottom. Look at the freaking bottom. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's bash this off one more time. This is going to be a really cool axe. Really cool. See, once you do that, it just pops right out. Look at where we're at. Look at, we're right down there now, friends. It's just how I do it. I just go down bit by bit. I don't care. I, I, I want a good axe. I want a good axe. Yeah, you can see it's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Yeah, good. Okay, so we got another little bit there. You guys see what I do. There's no point in you hanging around for this next one. You just don't.
That cuts better than that one. Oh, yeah. Well, this, um, that might need, a, might need a little uh, thing to get it back on because it's pretty tight. I don't know if you'll be able to pull it back on. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'll make it off. It's light, that Dalmar. See if we can get this back on. On, brother. Maybe we get the driver. <laughs> it'll wear it. It'll wear it back in right away. <laughs> that chain's a lot smoother. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get this now, right? I'm going to get, get that bellet out of there that I talked about, and then I'm going to put this back on, and I'm going to show you what we get. But you cannot forget the working corner. It's all about, all we're doing, all we're doing is we are working the top part of the chain. We're working the top part of the tooth. I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, here we go. So that's done now, that one. That was that one that I showed you that, that looked like that and that. You see that one, you can really see it. See it, friends? There's no C there yet. It's not there yet. This one, not too bad, but that hasn't been done. But this is what I'm talking about. See that? I took the gut right out of that. And then this is not as bad. So we got you've got to find that spot. That I probably need a few more strokes on top for. I probably didn't work my, my top corner as much there. I should probably just sweep that. Yeah, I should. I should just get that swept. There it is. There we go. Because you can end up with a really hungry little beak. And, and it will chatter. There we go. Much better. So that looks just like the other teeth now. Yep, good. It... it and friends, believe it or not, when all your teeth look real similar, you're going to be cut nice and smooth. So we pull this out, take a few gullets, swipes, and then get back on it. There we go. This should be pretty good. It is. It's very nice. I take gullet strokes sometimes. Other times, you know, see, I'm talking just a few. That file digs in there and rips that gullet out of there. We got to have a little room for this C to create itself in there. There it is. I just, I just scraped up the top working corner. I can see it flake out. There it goes. It's custom filing, friends. Th th this is what this is. It's custom filing. Starting to look pretty good, really. I'll talk to you in a minute. What a weirdo. That dog's nuts. That thing is slick and quiet. I know. It's from all that WD-40. Dude, you're rocking Rhonda. Rockin' Rhonda. Okay, I'm going inside. Bye. Bye. We got that bike going real good. You know what, friends? I used to do that when I was a young man, fix up pedal bikes when I was a little guy because it was my only way to travel out of the bush. I'm serious. I built bikes like I had a, actually had my French teacher run me out a bunch of carcasses one time and I, I built a green, it was the best bike was the Sakine. It was a green Sakine, friends, I'm not joking you. It was a deadly light frame and I scarfed all the parts, the Shimano, derailleur and oh it was deadly brakes and everything i was good at that stuff i liked it i remember i was good at pedal bikes fixing it's fun anyway now i'm on to these things